So a lot of people were horrified and disgusted by the reaction of uh, many leftists to the passing of Queen Elizabeth. Now, of course, this response from the far left was totally predictable because they hate uh, you know, symbols of tradition and stability. Because when people have stability and tradition, they're less likely to want to burn down their own civilization around their feet so that radicals can build uh, some communist utopia in its place. And what they describe as their uh, utopia doesn't sound that much like a utopia. And they have a guidebook for how to do this, by the way. You ever heard of the Four Olds? It was a term used during the Cultural Revolution by the student-led Red Guards in the People's Republic of China in reference to pre-communist elements of Chinese culture they attempted to destroy. The Four Olds were old ideas, old culture, old customs, and old habits. So if you want a revolution or you want the revolution to last, you have to take away all the things that people found comforting and useful. So you need to tear down the old so you can build the new, even if the new just happens to be terrible. And because modern academia seems to be just completely infested with Marxists, you see stuff like this. Headline, anti-racist professor at Carnegie Mellon wishes excruciating pain on Queen as she dies. Yep, these are the people teaching your kids. But why do they hate figures like uh, Elizabeth II so much? Well, it's because she represented tradition, a link with the past. That's why they hate her. That's why her memory has to be defiled. Her memory is, is part of the foundation of Western civilization, and that must be smashed. Of course, along with personal freedom, freedom of expression, capitalism, the nuclear family, etc., etc. And it doesn't matter that she didn't actually rule England. You know, prime ministers and parties ruled England. But it's that she existed alongside them, and by existing alongside them, proved the strength of democratic institutions. Her memory stands in the way of the Maoist dystopian nightmare that they euphemistically call equity. And of course, it's uh, equity for you, not so much equity for them. Yeah, these professors see a future in which um, some people are a little more equal than other people. So what did this uh, professor tweet? I heard the chief monarch of a thieving, raping, genocidal empire is finally dying. May her pain be excruciating. Somebody replied, ooh, you stink, and then she said, this is a professor, by the way, uh, you mean like your, yeah. Yeah, again, these are the people teaching your kids. Now, for one thing, um, Elizabeth ruled over a period of decolonization. The empire was dissolved under her reign, but it's probably too much to ask of a professor to know that. And as for the British Empire, the British Empire was the most benign empire in the history of empires. They abolished slavery in 1833 and in their colonies, much to the displeasure of the locals for whom the slave trade had been a very respectable business enterprise since well before any British man ever set foot in Africa. The Europeans did not create the slave trade in Africa. They were just the latest customers. Now, this tweet was actually responded to by Jeff Bezos, of all people. This is someone supposedly working to make the world better? I don't think so. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that from Jeff Bezos. Does it make up for what he's done to Middle Earth? No. But still, still. How about this one? Uh, the Queen isn't going to see your jokes about her, but your friends who are 150-year-old genocidal racist British colonialists will. So I guess because the Queen reigned over a period of decolonization, um... You have to stretch your joke back to 150 years for it to somehow make sense. How about this one, uh, blue check mark? Dear white Europeans, you do realize that black people won't mourn when another colonizer dies. She is old enough. Finally let her and the whole colonial system go in peace. She reigned over a period of decolonization. Why don't you know that? Here's one from uh, Jamel Hill, blue check mark. Journalists are tasked with putting legacies into full context. So it is entirely appropriate to examine the queen and her role in the devastating impact of continued colonialism. Again, another person who knows nothing, but is very interested in defacing history. So there you have it, the tolerant left once again. 
Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.